Welcome to Code with Kurt, the channel that brings you the latest Google Sheets and Google Apps Script videos. In today's video, we're going to be talking about dependent drop downs. And what exactly this means is here I got two select statements of colors and fruit. So if I select red, it's going to narrow the list down of red fruits here. Same thing with blue. If I select blue, it's going to narrow down to my blue fruits. And same with yellow, it's going to narrow down my yellow fruits. And what I'm doing is I'm bouncing this off data I have in a Google Sheet over here on my LOV here. So again, I have my color red, apple, red, tomato, red, cherry, blue, blueberry, yellow. So when I select one of these, it's, it's narrowing down the list to a shorter list of just what is red. So a, very dependent on the color. So in this example, I can put my name in here. And then we could select a color. Here I got the red colors. And if I hit submit, it submits it. And again, I'm storing this data as well. I'll come back, say record added. I could go over here and it just keeps building onto my data list here. Steve, red, apple, and the date it was added. So I'll take you through a step-by-step -step process of how I built this dependent dropdown. This is a little mix of HTML and JavaScript that is part of building this. If you're new to this channel, subscribe to catch my latest videos. Let's get started with this video. Here I am on my Google spreadsheet. I got it called Web App Dependent Dropdown. And I have a data sheet. And this is where I'm storing my submit data from my web screen here with name, color, fruit, and date. All I have is a header record here, nothing else. And then I got my LOV, which is list of values. And here I got my colors and my food. So I got my red matching up with my red food and the blue with my blue food and yellow with my yellow food. And they're all fruits here. So next I'll go over to my Google app script. I'm gonna go to script editor. Let me give my project a name. Call it the same as my spreadsheet, web app dependent dropdown, hit OK. Next, I'm going to copy in my Google app script code. That is copied in. I'm going to hit save. Next, I'm going to create my HTML page. I'm going to go to file, new, HTML file. And I'm going to call this dependent select. Same as up here, right there. Hit OK. So now I got my HTML file created. I'm going to copy in my HTML code. So there, that is copied. I will post this code below the video in the comment section so you can copy and paste it as well. I'm going to start with the Google Apps script code. And I'm starting with my do git. And this is pretty much follows all my other web app videos. We're starting with the do git to open up our HTML screen. And we're using a template type from file so we can do templated HTML using these tags so I can use Google Apps Script within my HTML. So that allows me to do that. Next, I'm getting colors. So I have a function called get colors. I'm setting up a variable of colors here. So if I go down to my get colors down here, I'm setting up my active spreadsheet. My sheet name is LOV. I'm getting the last row of that list as setting up array called return array and now here I'm doing a for loop through the sheet and what I'm doing is I'm looking at each color so if I go to my list here I'm going through this column A which is column 1 I'm going through each color if I find the color I'm going to add it to my array and I go through each one now if I already have it in my array I'm not going to add it anymore because I want a distinct list here so I just want red blue yellow I don't want three reds so that's where this index of is it's checking to see if it's in my array if it equals negative one that means it couldn't be found it's going to push it to my array here the return array so this goes through each row to my last row and then it returns back the return array up here where my variable is set of colors. Here I'm sending a variable of message to my HTML screen and I'm going to keep that blank for now and then I'm sending my colors to my HTML screen. And in this last time, 
last statement is evaluate so this is going to render my HTML screen so that's where I'm going to go to next so this is my HTML screen I have some script in here and this is more for the fruit select so I'm going to hit this later I'm going to go down to the HTML and I got my header record of web app dependent drop down here and then uh, I got a variable of URL get URL and what this is doing I'm going to go back to my Google Apps Script code. I'm going to go down to the bottom here where it says get URL and then there's a script at get service get URL. What this is doing is getting the URL of my HTML file as it's rendered up. So it's getting the URL. It's getting that HTTP address up there. And what I'm going to be using that for is I'm going to be using this for the post method here for the action. So when I do a submit it's got the action of my URL here. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm doing my labels of name. I got an input box of name. I'm doing a label of colors. I got a select of my colors. So here is my name and color here. I have a blank option. So my first option is going to be nothing. And then here is where I'm going to do a for loop. So I'm again doing this templated HTML where I could do the Google Apps script within the HTML. When I passed my colors in here, so this is my colors, I'm getting the length, which is colors is an array. So I'm getting the length of the array. And now I'm going to be going through each one of the colors and setting a tag mark with equals. And then I'm doing colors here. So it's going to display the color here. It's going to do it as a value and it's going to display it here in the option as well. So this is building my first select statement here. So then as I go down I got a label of fruit and then my second select statement here which there is no options in here and we're going to be doing JavaScript to populate that. And I'll show you here in a bit. My last statement is the submit which is submit button and then my message which I sent through as blank so it's going to appear as nothing when I first start the screen. Now I can go back to my Google Apps script. Let's go back up here where it goes on change. So as I'm filling out the form, I'm hitting the name, and then my next selection will be color. So as soon as I hit a color in, this function right here, this on change, will fire get fruit, which is a JavaScript function up here. So I got my function get fruit and color. So when I said this value, so whatever value I selected, that's the value it's going to pass through. So say I select red. So then it comes down to this Google script run with success handler. So that is a way that I could call a Google app script function within JavaScript. And back is I'm returning an array here, this AR within this function here. So again, what's coming back is an array, but the function I am calling, this statement goes all the way down to here the Google Apps Script function I'll be calling is get fruits and I'm passing in that color. So I'm passing this color all the way down here to call this. Within here is what I'm going to be handling the array that's coming back when I'm calling get fruit. So I'm going to go over to get fruits over here. And I'm going to go up here, get fruits, passing in the color. Again, the same as this one above here, getting the LOV, getting the last row setting up a return array. Um, the difference here is I am looking at the first column which is one and see if that color matches and if that color matches then I'm gonna push the second column in. So again I'm cutting through this I'm saying okay so the first column is it red? It is red so then I'm gonna pass apple to my array and I go to the next row and do so straight on down until I fill up this array of the values I need for that color then I'm going to return it. So that comes back and I'm returning it into this. This is kind of a function within this Google script run and this function is going to handle the displaying of the select statement that I got below. So within this I got a console log AR and that's just going to show me the data that's coming through back. This is just a log statement. This is You don't need this but I'm using it for debugging reasons. 
fruit length here. So fruit is my ID of my select statement down here. So I got an ID of fruit. I'm going to set the length to nothing. So this is going to empty out my select statement here. From there, I'm going to create an option. I'm going to make it blank here, the value in text. And I'm going to append it to fruit, which again is my ID down below. So the first option I'm putting on is a blank one. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going through my array. This AR is an array. I'm doing a for each. I'm doing another function within a function. This is returning back out of the array, the item and the index. So again, building up another element of options. The only thing I'm not worried, I'm not worried about index in this point. I just want the value of each one in the array, which would be the apple or tomato and stuff like that. So I'm going to set that to value and text, and then I'm going to pin that to fruit. So that's, that's how I build my second select statement here. So then after I'm done choosing the color, I choose the fruit and then I hit submit and in the submit does the post action up here. So I go back over to my Google Apps script, go up to this do post and then from there I'm doing a logger out. So this is where I could see all the values that are coming out of that post here and you can go up here to edit or view logs here and pull that information out. And then from there, I'm getting the name of this parameters of name, color, and fruit. And now that falls onto the name here. So fruit's name, color, and the name of name. So these three variables, parameters are coming back. And then from there, I'm doing an add record function. So if I scroll down here, I'm doing an add record, name, color, and fruit. Here I'm grabbing the URL. So I go up here, I copy this here, just another way you can do it, copy it. I'm going to come back here. I'm going to paste this in and there it is. Another way you can do this, this is like this, do the variable SS, grab the active, active spreadsheet, LV sheet, get, you know, these two statements here. I'm just doing a different way here of grabbing the URL. I'm opening it by URL and then set my data sheet here. So then from there, once I get my data sheet up, which is this sheet, I'm going to pin the row here. So the first available row open, it's going to set that name, color, fruit, next date, the new date. And I'm going to be returning back up here to my do post. So I did the add record. Now I'm going to go and refresh my screen. So again, I'm going to call depend select, getting my colors again. I'm going to pass a message through this time. It said record added since we did the full submit, sending my colors through as a parameter and then evaluating it to bring my screen up again. So that is everything that is going on with these functions in the HTML script. Next, I'm going to go ahead and publish. So I'm going to hit publish, deploy web app. I'm going to click in new. And I'm going to do me and only myself. Again, if you want anyone, anyone anonymous, that's the URL that will allow people to use your URL with this screen. But only myself is only going to restrict it to you. I'm going to hit deploy. And we're going to go through permissions. So I'm going to select my account. Hit advanced, hit go to web app, drop down, and I'm going to hit allow. And now here's the URL you can give out to people if you allow the open security. But for this purposes, I'm just going to use the latest code. And this is just a development app. So if I make a change, I don't have to re version this whole script to get a new URL. I can just hit latest code until I'm ready to version it to give a URL out to people to use. So I'm going to hit latest code here. So that opens up our screen here. And I can put a name in here. Color. Apple and hit submit. It's going to post this. 
over to our Google Sheets, it says record added, I go over here, and the record is in there. So that concludes this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it below the video. Until next time.